My name's Alice Carpenter. I'm a folklore studies professor. I always thought tales and fables were just fiction. But one day, everything changed. Hmm, a package for Alice. I wonder what they sent my wife this time. Hey, Alice. Would you be interested in presenting a series of lectures about ancient tales at our university? I'd love to, Professor. Sounds good, Alice. I'll be waiting to hear back from you. Uh, I'll have to call you back. My daughter's calling. Seems urgent. Mom, someone sent you a chest. I opened it and uh, these weird orbs came out. They did something to Dad. I, I tried calling the police, but they thought it was a joke. Please help. Mary, I have to get home. Touch them, or you'll turn into stone like your family. A talking fox? There's no time to explain. If you want to save your family and your world, you've got to get to the world of Spectra. Spectra? 
My grandmother used to tell me about that place, but they were just stories. Not all tales are fiction. Open the chest. You'll find a portal there. Take this. It'll help you. Hurry! I'll wait for you in Spectra. Follow me.
As you can see, the world of Spectra is real. Ordinary people can't get here. Now our world is dying. Soon your world will die too. Our worlds, they're interconnected. But why is this happening? The queen of our world, Bella, wants to conquer both worlds. Those dark orbs, her servants, have already gone into your world. How can I stop it? You have to become the guardian of the border between our worlds and defeat Bella. Me? But I'm just a normal professor. Believe me, you were chosen for a reason. You'll know more soon enough. Now, find the Guardian's bracelet. It'll give you power. Where is it? There's an island over there with a Guardian's tower on it. Find your way there. Alice, you're in the room. Please save our world. Some nerve pulling at my beard. Guardians of Spectra don't do that. I won't forget this. Thank mm -hmm. you. 